Hey guys, how's it going? T Blake here. Today is Saturday or Saturday for many because Nike stores <laughs> releases did not go through. I'm hearing that they're going to be scheduled for next week. Uh, however, I was able to pick some stuff up in person. Just a reminder, guys, if something sells out really quick online, chances are your local mom and pop store or your local whatever account store is it, whether it's a finish line, foot locker, that sort of thing, expressions in this area, I will have them. So just do some legwork, call around if legwork isn't your thing, uh, and figure out exactly where you can get the kicks. So I'm gonna start with a couple pickups uh, that didn't release this weekend, starting with the What the KD6 uh, Premium. You guys might be saying, whoa, didn't you have that sneaker before? Uh, for that review, I actually was reviewing a friend's pair. I wasn't able to get a pair on release date, uh, so I'm adding this one to my collection, and uh, yeah, I'm happy to get this model in the KD7 USA, because um, I am pretty sure Kevin Durant's gonna be headed over to Under Armour, uh, and a lot of these sneakers might become much harder to get, so you heard it here first. Second, I uh, did a Nike ID. Um, this is for the Air Max 90. They use the snakeskin option. They just introduced it to Nike ID. If you guys were looking for that link, it's down in the description. Um, you know, I'm gonna probably stop doing uh, sportswear IDs. This one actually came out, the colors were correct, uh, but I wasn't too impressed with the materials and everything like that, um, so I'm not exactly sure uh, what's gonna happen with these. Let me just take one second to show you them a little closer. Yeah, so as you guys can see, I just did a translucent uh, outsole, did the uh, infrared on the outsole, on the uh, back tab as well, have those salt and pepper hints in the midsole as well. Um, but overall, I just didn't like how the snakeskin material came out. It didn't turn out like uh, some premium releases that you snakeskin did. So I was unhappy about that. Uh, next up, another release I was really happy about is the AirTech Challenge 2 for the US Open. Um, these came with a bunch of different laces. Um, so we have a total of three. Let me show you these up a little closer too. Uh, so this used patent leather, which is kind of crazy. We haven't seen patent leather on too many sneakers. Um, look at that kind of, it has a little uh, iridescence to it. Really catches the light nice. Um, and these laces have a very uh, almost, not silky is not the right word, but they're the same thickness as SB laces, but just have a nice uh, outer to it. Seems like a little bit more premium. Um, you have the white outsole and then this uh, toe box. I, I need to, someone in the comments has got to know what material this is because I haven't seen it on uh, many materials. It feels like it's like a very uh, rough nubuck, um, but I could be wrong. And then you have gold insoles as well. Uh, next up, this is a sneaker that I actually already uh, own in addition of, I should say, not that the KO uh, and the uh, normal leather Jordan 1 are the exactly the same. Um, the KO uses canvas. I had the opportunity to get these a couple bucks under retail, so I went ahead and did it. Um, let me show you some of the details close up. Uh, so with this one, you will notice that the Air Jordan 1 KO silhouette is slightly different than the Air Jordan 1 OG, um, but it still has a lot of that appeal. Um, if you guys are worried about buying a replica pair of Royals or being scammed and you still want to have the same look, there's no shame in getting the canvas version. This pair is on point. I have no major issues with the materials. Uh, and you could probably find some on eBay right now um, for very, very close to retail. Just message the sellers, try to do a PayPal invoice or something like that. Uh, finally, and this is gonna be interesting, so I am not a huge Kobe fan. Uh, I actually have not purchased one pair of Kobe's for myself ever. Um, and it's not because I don't like Kobe, it's because the low top silhouette for basketball sneakers are just really uncomfortable for me. I like having a little bit more support. Uh, and when I saw the Kobe uh, mid that released the EXT version um, at work, I work part time at Nike Boston, which I'm actually finishing up. It's been a great summer. I've learned a ton. Couldn't be more thankful over there. Um, but every once in a while, they do a raffle per pair. Um, and you get a 40% discount. And for this one, since it was so limited, they only did one pair. I was lucky enough to get pulled. So instead of $225, I got my 40%. Otherwise, I honestly don't recommend purchasing this sneaker for retail. Um, I know they sold out sort of, kind of, sort of today, um, but definitely don't pay resale for them. Um, but I love the fact that this is a Kobe mid. One of the few mid silhouettes that I can actually get into. Let me show you a little close up. So on this one, you know, premium's kind of an understatement. They definitely did. Uh, holding the sneaker, you'll notice that the leather and then the embossing here actually has a uh, little anaconda skin, sort of like on the Yeezy 2. If you just flip the print this way, they'd be going the same way. Um, you have this uh, very, very bright 
and this actually peels off. It's a little plastic shield um, on the back tab. So that's what's really catching the light. Gum bottom, can't beat it. And then actually all inside here is 3M. So all these 3M picks up uh, on the side wall and then the lace tips themselves have some silver detailing. So a very premium shoe, very basic, which is also why I'm looking to add it to my collection. Um, I haven't picked up something like this and I'm really proud to say this is gonna be my first Kobe. Took a lot of years to find it and this one just definitely spoke to me. Okay guys, that has been it for this weekend's, okay guys, that's been it for this week's sneaker pick up Saturday. Let me know if you guys picked up anything this weekend. Let me know what was hard to get. Uh, let me know what you're looking forward to next weekend down in the comments. Uh, also, I'm going to put a list in the description. There are four more sneakers uh, that I'm going to be selling on the low before I move. Um, if you guys are interested in those, please let me know. Size 11 and a half to 12 for the most part. Uh, and yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, please hit that thumbs up button. I cannot wait for it to be this time. Seven days from now, I'm going to be in a whole new space. Have all my lighting kits coming in. Have everything. I'm very, very fortunate that you guys have been hanging in with me. I can't wait to continue to deliver content to you guys. I appreciate you guys hanging in with me. T-Bike signing out. I'll catch you guys soon. Peace.